This year you're back again as a director yes. of uh, uh, Sequence Break. Uh, could you, for the viewers at home that aren't maybe familiar with the, the film itself, could you explain a little bit about it? Sure, yeah. Sequence Break uh, tells the story of Oz, played by Chase Williamson, uh, who's a reclusive video arcade repair technician um, that on the same day meets a beautiful, mysterious young woman uh, named Tess, played by the amazing Fabian Therese, um, and an arcade machine that may or may not be sentient and may or may not be lustful and uh, wanting things from Oz. Um, and as he begins to play the game and also fall deeper in love, uh, his reality begins to crumble and he has to dive into the rabbit hole to uh, come out the other side. Now, uh, obviously, as, as writer and director, uh, I've got to ask, where did this uh, original idea f to, to come up with this film, uh, uh, you know, or originate from? Yeah, um, so the idea came from uh, many, many years ago, like 15 years ago or something, I read this urban legend online about a, basically about a killer arcade game. Um, there wasn't much to the story, it was just sort of that idea, and I thought, oh, it's a cool idea, you know, I wonder what comes of that. Uh, and then over the years, I kept trying to write something, and nothing clicked, something felt right, until uh, a couple years ago, I was revisiting a bunch of body horror films, and I went, this is the lens through which I need to tell this story. Um, you know, and, and it was... Uh, there was a lot of stuff going on in my personal life as well where I said, you know, I want to explore this idea of relationships and, um, you know, relationships versus, uh, versus, you know, personal passions and what does that mean? And, uh, yeah, and then the, you know, I had a dream about a melting skull and now here we are. And as, as with most good, horror, most good horror films, obviously, they always uh, start off with a dream, obviously, yeah. with Clive Barker or Stephen King, and such totally. and stuff. Um, and obviously, the fact that you've, you've brought the, the, the film to this year's Fright Fest event, um, you know, obviously, it's a, it's a widely recognized uh, film event in itself. Uh, how, how does that feel to have your film being shown here again for, uh, for a second year running? Uh, it's incredible. I mean, I, I was here, you know, a year ago with Beyond the Gates, and when I was here, I was still in the midst of editing Sequence Break. And so to bring it back here a year later and have the completed film be showing it to people, it's like, what a dream, you know, what a dream. I, I'm very fortunate and I'm very grateful to, you know, Paul and Alan and Ian, the whole, the whole crew, uh, for, for, you know, being as bold as they are in selecting such a diverse uh, group of films to show here. Uh, it's really great.